What's going on guys? Today's video is actually sponsored by Simply Safe. We're gonna talk about them a little bit later, but today we're gonna talk about the most hated animal on our farm on this very special Father's Day episode. Let's get going. Get the chickens a snack. Come on. I want the food. I want to feed we them. We have to join our hands. Catch the chicken. Catch the in our hands. <laughs> this is the French black copper moran rooster that we've got. All right. So today on this Father's Day episode, we want to talk about the unsung heroes of the farm, or the fathers. And so we're looking at some of our roosters, our toms, our drakes, our peacocks, talk about the pros and cons of them, and just show you how crazy they all are. This one's our French black copper moran rooster in our bantam flock. We have one in our main flock named copper. We don't have a name for this one. We probably won't keep, if we decide to keep this one around, did you hear the peacock right there? If we decide to keep this one around, then we wouldn't need copper. So how many roosters do we have, Becky? We've got, we've got copper, in the main flock and that's it. Two Moran's roosters, we've got an I.M. Samani rooster and we've got a Silky rooster right in here. So then we've got two other I.M. Samani roosters. So we currently have seven roosters and we like to keep one to two really on the farm. So we've got a lot of giving away, calling, something to do to cut this number down because it causes a lot of problems. It causes crowing and fighting. The females, they'll be overbred because there's just too many males messing with them. But usually we like to keep one to two in one flock and over here we've got four, so we really need to start fixing this problem. So what do you want to do with this guy? Do you want to keep him over copper or do you want to sell him or give him away? Copper's pretty good, or we could keep the gray one. This one's our, our blue copper moran right here, and we've never had a blue copper moran rooster. He'd be really interesting to keep with the main flock. We could keep the I.M. Samani's right here. So here's our I.M. Samani rooster, Johnny Cash and a really cool looking dude. And I actually really like this guy's temperament so far. He's not as nasty as the other two. And so for sure would keep him over here with the Bantam flock, but we might be able to keep him over with the main flock if we don't care about breeding for egg colors. Cause if we keep the Morans in there and we can breed for Morans, we can breed for olive eggers. Where these guys just lay a cream colored egg and breeding wouldn't be very exciting. I got a chicken. All right, put the girl crow in. <laughs> All right, we're out here playing with the Oh no, don't fly out. Hang on. We're out here playing with the mandarin ducks in the pool this morning. And luckily, even though they're growing really big, luckily they still can't jump out of this pool if we keep it just low enough. You right? Are you going to catch one? What do you got there? The baby duck is eating them chick. You like these ducks? Yes. Are they cute? Yes. What do you got there? Uh, a duck. Think it's a boy or a girl? I think it's a boy. You think so? You excited to see these guys when they're all big and pretty? Yeah. All right, it's time to put them back in their home. Right, back in their home. All right, good job, guys. Thanks for your help. Thanks for watching them. Thanks for playing with them. Hang on. Yeah! Oh, I get another high five. Yeah! yeah. All right. Yeah! Oh, I get another high five. Okay. <laughs> You're just hitting each other. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daddy's putting it in that. Put it in that. <laughs> high fives all around. High fives all around. All right, come on. One big high five, all three of us. Okay. All three of us, right up here, okay? Everybody, jump up. Jump up and hit the hand. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna choose a master pen. Don't look. 
So with Father's Day coming up, it's a good reminder that I'm the protector of the family. And that's where we want to talk about today's sponsor. Simply Safe. Simply Safe is an incredibly effective, reliable home security system that'll make sure your home is safe. Please exit now. The home is professionally monitored 24 seven. If something happens, the police will get called. They've got really thoughtful features. They've got sensors to cover every window, room, and door, plus lots of great extras. We've even got these nifty little water sensors. It'll tell us if we are having some flooding or water issues here by our laundry or toilet. It's really easy and intuitive to use. And they have fair and honest price and you can get around the clock protection for less than 50 cents a day with no contracts. And it's equipped for worst case scenarios. If you lose power, your Wi-Fi goes down, or if it gets attacked, it'll still work. So why are we interested in home security? And some of you guys may not know, I actually worked in alarms for the past three, four years before working on our YouTube channel, working on our farm. And so working on alarms was something that I was very familiar with. I could install any kind of system, but this is a system that's simple, easy to use, and even Becky can do it. The system was so easy to install. It was less than an hour. We didn't have to use any tools. We used the double-sided sticky tape. Didn't put, have to put any holes in the walls. Right here upstairs to protect our incubating. Make sure nobody messes with that. You can't see, whoa, 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 whoa. You can't see, you can't see what we're incubating. And with Simply Safe, the monitoring center will notify the police in the event of a break-in. In fact, I've got a camera to put in from Simply Safe. Let me show you what we're gonna do with that. And we're gonna try it out here by our coop, see if we have enough Wi-Fi range to watch our chickens during the day. All right, now we can watch our chickens all day long inside the house. So be sure to check out simplysafe.com slash whitehouse to get this for yourself. And thank you to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video. This is our wonder duck, and this is crackers, and it's found it at, at the farm store. I wanted this duck. And there been two kinds for a show out, like, and this one the kind. What it turned out like? This is my duck. Green lantern. Green lantern. Black tuna. <laughs> can't see it. Can't see it white. And he's a black hyena. Black, black tuna. I can't see it. Say cayuga. <laughs> so this is Slater, our blue slate turkey, our Tom turkey, our only blue slate we have. And he is one strong guy. He's hard to hold. He's actually the only male that I've seen the Royal Palm females breed with. It makes it tricky if we actually want to breed a specific breed like our Royal Palms. But this guy is so well behaved and keeps everyone under control that I think I would keep this guy around whether we had any of the other turkeys. He's just a great leader of the entire flock. It's so weird to feel the head of the turkey. It feels like you're touching brains or something. It's all squishy, weird feeling. All right, Eli, who's this guy? Batman. That's right, this is our Muscovy Drake. It looks like he's got a mask on like Batman. We've seen this guy fighting quite a bit lately, haven't we? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> we saw him fighting Copper, the Black Copper Moran Rooster. He was chasing him around, just bothering him. Like, I don't know what he was trying to do. And then we've seen him fighting the turkeys. We just saw him, but he was fighting them until he got worn out and tired. So he's just been fighting everyone in the yard for dominance. Kind of a pro problem maker. All right, let's go see what Bamboo's up to, all right? Okay. So of course, Bamboo is one of our male birds on the farm, so we need to check in with him and talk about him a little bit. Go Eli, go! So we're hanging out with bamboo here, and obviously emus are different than roosters and ducks and turkeys. The males and females are pretty similar up until about breeding age, which is about two years old. And that's where we're told there's gonna be a big difference where the females will actually be the ones to act out and not the males. The females will actually be fighting for the male's attention. And roles will be reversed where cashew will lay the egg, but then bamboo will be the one to actually sit on the eggs and incubate them. Isn't that right? All right, let's get this peacock. Oh. 
So with many of you, this guy is one of the most popular birds on our farm because of their beauty, just because of how unique they are. But man, this guy is the biggest trickster. He is so smart. Every night, he roosts up on top of their coop or on top of this house or on top of this Little wooden area, play area we have right there. And we've got to chase him in every night. So Becky, who's the most hated bird when you think of all of our flock of any bird you could pick from? Who would you pick? I would say bamboo. Woo, really? That's everybody. Everybody thinks bamboo and blue. These guys are just the coolest and there's no problems with them. It's a toss up because blue is hard to get in every night too, but bamboo is hard and he's in the yard right now. So the situation is a little bit different where I think if he had his own space, and we didn't have to deal with them every single day, pecking on us and bothering us. We love him too, but I think he's the hardest. I just think for me, it's this, it's this guy, it's blue, just because of how frustrating he is and how uncooperative he is when all of our other birds I can usually get on camera and pictures. He's always running and hiding from us. All right, so blue, you guys always ask for updates on this guy. So he is a menace, but he is really beautiful and so for now, he gets to stay. We hope you guys all have a wonderful Father's Day. And I'm not saying it to get any praise in the comments. I want you guys to wish your father a happy Father's Day. So give him some love down in the comments. I'd love to hear any stories and any praise for your fathers. And you guys have a wonderful time hanging out with them. Bye, Kiri.